All right, I want to build a correlation matrix. Uh, in this case, I'm using some team data, baseball team data from Fangraphs, uh, where I have the wins for every team for the last 10 years. And then I'm going to look at their hitting data, so how many home runs their hitters hit, uh, even how what age their average hitter was, uh, things like that. Um, and we'll see how these things are correlated to wins for the team. Now, in correlation matrices, I usually work below the data. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze my top row. So I'm going to hit freeze panes, uh, freeze top row in the view tab. That way I can jump down by hitting control down, jump down to the bottom of the data set here, but my headers will stay. And then I'm going to take those same headers. Oh, it didn't look like that. Uh, normally keeps those there. Uh, but I'm going to paste them down here to set up my matrix. So I'm going to set them up right below the data. I'm also going to right click right here. Uh, down and one to the left. I'm going to paste special transpose, which is this one right here, or you can go into the paste special men menu and hit transpose um, so that I drop the same thing going um, vertical. So now I have them going horizontal and I have them vertical. Uh, so just copy paste and then paste special uh, transpose. And then I'm going to correlate here. I want the correlation of wins with wins. Then I want the correlation of wins with home runs, correlation with wins and runs, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and correlate all these things to each other as well. And that's kind of the point of, the ma of a matrix itself. Um, so the corel is your formula. So equals corel is the formula you want. Um, since I'm going to correlate wins with wins, this is just going to be C2. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and lock that to uh, colon C301. Uh, and also lock that, and you'll see my whole row, or uh, my whole column now is highlighted. And I'm gonna lock that because I wanna keep it wins. And as I drag it across, I wanna correlate wins to home runs, wins to runs, wins to RBIs, wins to stolen bases. So I want that um, to remain the first chunk of data for my correlation. The second chunk of data in this case is also wins. So it's also C2 to C301. But I don't want to lock this one because as I drag it over, I want it to change to home runs, to runs, to RBIs, like I was, like I was saying. Now, to do this the, the best possible way, um, I also, with this second set of data, I want to, as I drag the data down, so I'm going to also fill these correlations down, I want C2 to C301, I want the 2 to 301 to stay the same. Um, so I want, as I drag it right, I want it to move from C to D to E to F to G to H. But I do not want, as I drag it down, for my rows to move to 3 to 302 and then 4 to 303. So I'm going to go ahead and lock, uh, hit F4, hit F4 again, and just lock the numbers but not the Cs. You see, so the dollar signs in front of the 2 and in front of the 301, it'll lock that 2 to 301, but I don't want a dollar sign in front of the C because I don't want it to lock like I have it locked over here. And that way when I drag it over um, like this, right, it's going to fill and give me all the correlations. Um, but the main thing is that it's all correlating to, to wins, and then as I drag this down, we're going to have a slight problem. Uh, in that it's just going to correlate everything to wins again and everything to wins again. And that's because when we're locking here, uh, this first set of locks, I locked it to C2 to C301, which is where wins is. Here I want to lock home runs. So when I drag it over, everything is correlated to home runs. Here when I uh, lock, I want it to lock on runs. Uh, and so I do have to go back into the first column here and change the C in the in the full lock set to D. Both C's need to get changed to D's. Then I go down one and I change the C's to E's. Then I go down one and I change the C's to F's and so on and so forth. Um, so this takes a little bit of time, but uh, it's nothing too crazy if you're doing this a lot. Um, let's see what I need. G. Uh, if you were doing this a lot, uh, you might build a small macro or something that could do this for you. Um, each, but that would take a lot of work. So for something this small, I wouldn't want to do that kind of work. I
J. Get in there. J. And you'll see the numbers here should populate the same as the numbers going across here, correlating everything to wins again. Um, we're on the OBP, which is K. L and M number dot. Okay. And now all we got to do is take all those ones we just changed, grab the little highlight them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> highlight them, grab the little drag handle, pull it over. And you'll know that your matrix is correct because you'll see a marching row of ones going down and across uh, as you correlate each thing with, its, with itself. So here we have walk rate and walk rate. Here we have K rate, K rate. Here we have average, average. And anything correlated with itself is going to be one. I also would go a step further than this. Um, one, you can change how many decimals are showing and things like that, depending on, on what you want to show. The other thing I like to do is go to the home menu and mess with conditional formatting. Uh, and so I want anything that is greater than zero here. These are positive correlations. I would like them to be green. And then anything that is less than zero, I'm going to go ahead and fill red. And that way I can kind of read um, my matrix, matrix very easily. So again, if you want to look at, hey, what's correlated positively with wins and what's the strongest correlations with wins, the strongest are right here, 0 0.6 and 0.59, which happen to be uh, runs and RBIs, um, are stronger correlated than, say, home runs. Um, walk rate is reasonably strong as well. Oh, OBP is also in that same range. So getting on base, scoring runs, these are the things that are most correlated with winning for a team. Whereas the negative correlations are things like striking out, uh, happens to be a weak, a very weak, uh, well, not very weak, uh, you know, 0.25, but I mean a pretty weak correlation, but it, it, you know, teams that strike out a ton do tend to win a little less. Uh, stolen bases, so teams that steal lots of bases actually slightly negatively correlated with winning and things like that, which that one's a little bit weirder and I don't want to get into baseball stuff uh, here, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then you can do the same thing with any of these. So if you look at stolen bases, well, stolen bases are negatively correlated with a bunch of things. Uh, runs, home runs, RBIs, um, and that has to do with some characteristics of who steals uh, bases. Uh, if you look at things like uh, walks, walks are positively correlated with home runs, with runs, with RBIs, with um, K rates, uh, and so on. Um, so that's the sort of thing. And then you can start looking through here also for like, are there any really strong relationships between any um, two particular things? Uh, and again, ignore all the ones because you got the marching uh, marching line that's going to mess stuff up, basically. And also, things like RBIs and runs are going to be perfectly correlated because anytime you score a run, somebody else gets credited with an RBI. So they're going to be perfectly correlated, too. Um, so you can ignore the ones, but things like, you know, that's pretty strong. So slugging and on-base percentage are, are strong correlates, um, uh, or at least in this, it's one of the strongest correlates. Uh, here's some 8s, 0 0.82, 0 0.83. So runs and RBIs are both really strongly correlated with getting on base at high rates, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's how you build out a correlation matrix. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but then it's, it's one of those things, especially if it's data that I don't understand very well, uh, one of the first things I might do is look at what I'm trying to look at correlate it to everything and see what things are related to what. And that gives me a starting idea to start thinking about what I might want to, or how I might want to cut up the data. So anyway, that would be it.